Hey there, War Gamers, Just here and Painter, and today, boom, <laughs> we're gonna check out some record sheets. like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. If you are new here, please alpha strike that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for tuning in to help support what I do. That said, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the new premium um, rules or record sheets from the most recent Battletech um, Mercenaries Kickstarter from Catalyst Games Labs. And this one's not gonna be that much different, if like, really any different from the previous record sheet uh, set or premium record sheet set, except that it's got new units. Now that said, I do want to crack it open and show you guys what we have, because I think these are really cool and a nice Nice product that uh, at least new people to Battletech might enjoy. The uh, veteran old grog guard, such as they are, probably don't need these because they have all the record sheets they've been using since they were teens, and uh, they're definitely at the top, the generals of the Battletech, and this might not be the product for them. But for new players, I really think these flashy, nice sheets are good, and I joke with the grog thing. I just say that because Battletech peeps seem to handle it well, and they, they know, they know, they know what's up. Um, but I think these are really nice for growing the community uh, for new people um, that are approaching Battletech proper. These look flashy and nice, and they look a little bit better than the standard white printouts, and that's why I'm really excited to review these today, because I think for the, the longevity, the health of Battletech, we need growth. And as someone who's a big Alpha Strike fan, seeing uh, Classic grow is still good because those players are getting into Battletech. Buying Battletech stuff means Battletech grows. So while I'm not a huge Classic player, I still think this is a valuable product to have to get new players into the game and kind of lower the scary approach uh, towards uh, getting into Battletech and also give you something nice and flashy. If you see this on the, an actual game table at the store, it's going to look cool. So that said, let's go ahead and stop my ramble and flip the camera around and show you guys these record sheets. All today. right, guys, let's check out the premium record sheets from the Mercenary Kickstarter. I'm excited about these. I know some people are not, but I'm excited about these um, for a couple of reasons. So A, uh, I think the pretty sheets are very nice and they look, look cool. I like to collect. Um, and I think that uh, trying to get access to record sheets online can be um, easy, can be annoying printing out. It's nice to have dry erase stuff and it looks good. The uh, secondary benefit of this is A, this is really easy to learn with. Um, and you, you simplify the game um, from the start. So just using this um, gets you a little bit of crunch and you can have some fun. You can transition to this for classic and it's got everything here. You don't have to go online and worry about anything and you have your pips, right? The big deal is, is if you go into a store and you see somebody playing with these or these versus the white printouts, the janky ones from the computer, um, this draws a lot more attention in my opinion. Is there anything wrong with the white printouts from the computer? No, have I played with them? Yes, they look great. But if you know, we were going into a shop and someone was playing Magic the Gathering and all the cards look like white printouts. That doesn't look as cool when you're playing with them. The artwork and the, the thing, the, sh the shiny, the cool eye-catching stuff that gets you to look at a thing, right? If you walk in and you see somebody with this and you don't know what Battletech is, this looks cool. You might be like, oh, what's that? Are they playing a role-playing game? What's that cool thing? What's that guy on there? What's the colors? What's happening? Versus a standard piece of white paper. So... I am very excited about this because uh, I think it's uh, something that uh, um, uh, eases the barrier of entry and um, gets things in people's hands to just play with quickly. Also, because these are dry erasable, they're ready to roll. The paper ones you get, you have to print them or scan them and print them or laminate them. So this is nice. Plus, it looks good. It's going to get be flashy and get people looking at them in the, the, the store. That said, uh, don't have anything fancy to talk about with the stats on these. Uh, I'm just going to pop these open and let you guys take a peek at everything that comes with the premium record sheets from the Mercenary Kickstarter set. Um, I don't know, won't know until I get through all these if they include the Legendary Mech Warrior sheets, which would be really cool if they did. I suspect they don't, but it would still be cool, so we'll see. Uh, I believe these are probably gonna mirror all the units, uh, at least the mechs that were released. So uh, we'll get in tight here uh, for the, the smaller sheets and I'll have to zoom out for the larger ones, but. Uh, starting things off, we got this bro here. Looks pretty cool. I like seeing the larger artwork. The other thing that's nice with this too is if you're curious, you can uh, grab these and look and get some ideas for reference for painting your mechs as well. Um, I can't remember what this MSRP'd for. Um, does it say it on here? Uh, 35 bucks. Not, not the end of the world, um, honestly, because if you were going to... Uh, oh, different guy on the back. That's the um, Whitworth and that's the Hermes. So they... Oh, I sold my second set. I probably would have kept that knowing that these were double-sided with different mechs. That's unfortunate. Anyway, 35 bucks saves you some time um, without having to print or laminate. And these are already ready to go. A um, little unfortunate that these, these smaller ones are double-sided. I would have uh, I would have kept them just so that uh, if you're playing, um, 
you don't, you know, you and your buddies don't have to like, well, I wanted to use the fire starter and I wanted to use the, the javelin. Oh no, you know, now you're kind of, you can't. Um, that is what it is. Um, they'll be at Nova. I might be able to pick up a record sheet there if they have them. If not, we'll check Adepticon next year. We will see. Yep. So definitely cool being able to see the, the larger upscaled pictures here. Dig that. Oh, Jaeger Mac boy. Yeah, the, the upscaled artwork is just really nice. I enjoy that. And again, like, there's no doubt that these are dry erase, but super shiny. Um, and we got our little Hamburglar bro. And that guy. So, yep. Again, uh, I wouldn't have sold that second set, uh, but I also needed money for car repair, so sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Uh, so let's zoom on out so we can see the full sheets here. And let me rotate that. Um, now it's getting a little dark, so we might just have a sheen on there. I'm sorry. Uh, you can see my light strip right here. Um, but yeah, we'll see what these what these guys are looking like. And so now this one is double-sided for the same guy. And I only have one of this guy, so that makes sense. Um, and then it has the this, the this version of the Highlander. And does it have a gunnery skill recommended for him? No. So it just has the BB it assumed pilot skill for. But two different variants. So that that's what I thought those other sheets would be, um, but they weren't. That seems um, a little 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 upsetting, or or just not necessarily upsetting, disappointing that these are double sided and the small ones are uh, sharing when these do not. Um, so that's a little frustrating. But as we go through here, um, if there's a, a mech sheet on here that you guys are like, hey, you should really look at this. This one's really cool. Stat wise, let me know because there's uh, the. The old groggies um, in the BattleTech world who know a thing or two about BattleTech, they'll they'll tell you when you see a variant that's really good, that's a sleeper. They'll usually tell you like, "Yo, this mech is really good. Don't sleep on it. Look at it." Um, so if somebody's in the comments and they see one of these sheets and like, "Hey, that sheet right there, that's the one you might want to check out," and you know, take a peek and see why, and maybe engage with them, ask them why they think that's the one that you should uh, maybe give a shot. Uh, not that you want to be overly competitive all the time, but. Um, you know, some of those guys that, uh, the people that are veterans of this type of gameplay for Battletech, they know a thing or two about good mechs and bad mechs. And when it comes to Alpha Strike, I pay attention a little bit to that, but um, it's much more forgiving than Classic can be. So, but yeah. Definitely really cool. And again, getting to see the upscaled artwork on them is just really nice. Gives you uh, some, and some ideas for things you may or may not want to do for painting. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the um, the set of these at some point one day where they have some of the, um, I think they should just be doing record sheets like this in general as a, a premium purchase uh, item. Um, but it'll be nice to see um, uh, some of the uh, token mechs from the Ill Clan era and Dark Age in these. Like I want to whip one of these over and see a Savage Wolf on it. That's, that's what I want because I think that would be really, really cool. And this guy, yep, yep, I did the, the review of this guy, and he was really cool. Um, so LRMs, yeah, yeah, a bunch of LRMs. Okay, <laughs> he's a goofy little dude. Oh, I mean, look how much HP this thing's got, though. It's so insane. It's insanity. I wonder what capacitor does with capacitor. And what's an impod? Impod? I get what an MRN is with impod. Huh? Which one's this guy? The charger? The charger? Cesar. Yeah, and not as many like, I guess I'm gonna say not as many. Um, I'm a sucker for clan stuff as is everyone. So kind of like peeking, hey, is any of it making in here? Any of these guys sneak? Cause they're a variant. Cause like if there's a dark age variant, like maybe they got some stuff, uh, which this is dark age era. So maybe, you know, so maybe you got some stuff. Uh, but no, I hadn't seen anything that's specifically sound. Off. This guy's got pulse lasers though. Those are nice. I remember that those hit easy. 
got extended range. Light PPCs, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I say this like I know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Look at, all those, look, at, look at all the pips. It's insanity. I got ATMs, though. I like ATMs. It's probably my favorite weapon in the game. Not that I play Classic very often, but I like ATMs. I like AC-20s. I like Goss. Um, I like ATMs because of versatility and it's really good, really cool, really good. I like Goss uh, for the same reason. Like AC-20s, when it connects, you, you know it connects and it hurts. <laughs> That's why I like that one. Yeah, what's is that improved heavy laser? Is that what imp stands for? Improved heavy laser laser? Yeah. And this is also why I usually keep one of every mech that comes out, even if it's one I, I may or may not paint at any point. I like having stuff on hand to do things like this if I want to. Um, paint things up, play if if I got time. Um, be really cool. Um, The Vulcan. I wish that I used that more in the Hairbrain Schemes game. I just didn't. It just didn't come up for me to want to use it. And this guy with his Optimus Prime looking helmet on. Funny to me. Oh, Clint. Cicada. And yep, from Hairbrain Schemes, I have uh, cruised around in many a Cicada to S for sure. Assassin. Now, a lot of these, like, uh, I don't even know what they are, because um, like, there's so many mechs in Battletech Universe that I just, I know a lot of the token mechs, right? Um, but a lot of these I had never seen before. Um, never. And then when I did the review with the plastics, um, you know, they, they're probably replacing ancient old metal ones with these new plastic ones, which is nice. Um, but I didn't even know some of them existed in metal because I didn't never heard of the variant before. Of course, I knew what a fire starter is. I know what that is. Fire starter. All right, we're getting towards the end here. Let you guys kind of see everything that was in it. And there's my boys, Wolf Dragoons, my boys, and the Firefly. And I guess that's Comstar. Hey, look, that's Comstar. It's not. It's not Wobby. Wobby's the sword, so Comstar. And then the last but not least, the flea. Yep. So, uh, like I said, these MSRP'd at thirty-five bucks for the set. Um, I think that they they were part of the pledge. That's why I had two. Uh, again, I sold one on the eBay. Um, probably would have kept it just to have the second set of these. But it is what it is. Not the end of the world. Um, and do I think it was worth it? Sure. Um, I think more stuff like this is just really good for the longevity of the game um, and getting new people in. And in particular, I really like these because they're simple and easy and it cuts out some of the complexity of Classic. And you can, if you start to have it to where you have a slider of how much complexity you want, how much time you have, that kind of thing, it's going to help with the barrier to entry and getting people into the hobby, into the universe. So I like these. I think if some you get somebody playing with these in a local hobby shop, the foot traffic that walks by and sees it is uh, much more likely to stop and say, hey, what? that and there you have it folks that is a uh, a first look at the battletech um our mercenaries or uh, mercenary kickstarter premium record sheets hopefully you guys enjoyed if you got some thoughts of your own sound off in the comments below if you're still waiting on the kickstarter stuff please be patient i'm sure it'll get there soon and if you've already got yours i'd love to hear your thoughts on the products that you've gotten that said, though, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you want to help support the channel, check the description down below for all the goodies and links that you can, uh, can use to help support what I do and keep the video content flowing. But on that note, it's time for me to go. As always, keep painting your models, keep rolling your dice, and I will catch you guys next time. If you made it this far, you're probably a viewer that already hits that like button when you see a video come up. You're probably already a subscriber, and you probably jump into the comments down below to help support the channel, to help support that algorithm. But if you're looking for some other ways to help support the channel too, make sure you check the description down below. Maybe you want to pick up some paints from Monument Hobbies. That's my paint of choice. The Pro Acrylic line is 
Chef's Kiss, good stuff. Maybe you want to check out some of the offerings from Death Room Designs where I work in my day job. We got plenty of 3D printed uh, products as well as MDF terrain, some of the stuff that I have designed myself and we play with here on the channel. And if you're looking to bolster your Battletech uh, ranks, miniatures, and offerings, make sure you check out uh, Bobby from Fortress Miniatures and Games. He's one of the main supporters of the channel as well and supporting any of these companies helps support what I do and helps to ensure that I can continue to bring content to all of you. If you want to become a super supporter, I highly recommend you guys check out the Patreon. You guys get that extra little edge to help push more content out, and I really do appreciate that. And my ultimate goal on the channel is to continue to be able to not, not only put out the content we have now, but to get to a point where you can put out more content later, whether that be battle reports or painting tutorials or just more rambles, anything at all. I'd like to be doing more content for you. This is something that I enjoy. I like being able to cast a light into the darkness to bring a little bit of hobby positivity to all of you and make you feel good and also enjoy playing games myself. As we do the final sign off here though, I do want to go ahead and switch on over and do the, the scroll of awesome to showcase all the Patreon supporters, the super supporters of the channel to give them some recognition for helping support what I do. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys. Mm -hmm.